So yeah. today, so, uh, Mary and Gil are going to be playing Gil's check-in cards and then uh, with the Rifle Networks. Shall yes. we get started? Yeah. So uh, check-in cards is not a game. Check-in cards is a tool uh, that uh, lets you check in on the other player. So Mary, uh, do me a favor and grab one of these decks of cards. You can just right-click and select the draw option in the upper right on that little radial menu that appears. Uh-huh. Hold on. I don't have a, the normal mouse, of course. <laughs> if you hold down control, that might bring up a yes. contact sensitive menu. And then select the upper right option. If that doesn't work, you can just click once on the deck and drag it to the bottom of the screen until you see a halo. I'm just taking it. Let me take it. Yep. Yeah. And then you have to put it in your hand. Excellent. Okay. And then these remaining cards, I'm going to just uh, push off to the side. Okay. So you have four cards. Uh, each of these cards uh, will let us communicate how we're feeling. So uh, the first card uh, will tell you how much energy uh, you're having. So choose one of these cards and flip that card face down with the F key and put it in front of you. And that indicates how much energy you're feeling as a person right now. All right, Got and it. now flip with the F key. Oops. Okay, so you, you've, got, you've got a decent amount of energy. I'm flagging yeah. a little bit, but uh, that, I have enough juice for about an hour. Um, but if <laughs> someone was, uh, was a little bit low, you know, you would check in with the group and see if yep. you need to take a break, you need to eat something, that sort of thing. So uh, put that card back in your hand. Yes. And now we're going to look at the other side of the cards. Now, unfortunately... Um, Tabletopia doesn't let you rotate a card when it's in your hand. Um, but uh, I don't think the card's in your hand yet, Mary. You need to drag it to the bottom of the screen uh, until you see the halo, like a little... I know. I, 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 uh, my halo is... Uh, the halo could be finicky. Yeah, it could be very, very finicky. <laughs> Hold on, I lost way, my card! Hold on. Oh, no. Okay. Okay. Halo. No, I'm still waiting for my halo. Hold on. These are the these are the annoyances of uh, yeah. digital, why, a digital that, age. Yeah, that's why the right click can be really useful if you can yeah. right click and, okay. and put it, it put it in your hand that way. I think it's in. Okay. Uh, I anyway, what you could do is just put the cards in front of you and do it that way, and I'll just move up so I don't see. So choose a card that indicates what intensity level you want to play at. Uh, one means you don't really care whether you win or not. And four means you must win the game in order to really enjoy it. So choose what intensity level you're, you, you'd like to play at today. Yes. Okay. And there's my card. And flip it. Uh, is that a one that you played? It is. All right. And I played a two. So we're pretty close to each other. We're casual. We were, we're casual. If we were two or more off, then we would talk about it and uh, figure out um like is there like a balance and of course a definition of one two or three or four is different with each person but this is important to at least get the conversation going um yes. and i've had really good conversations with this like starting a game like we played power grid a couple of weeks ago and used these cards and then we started talking about what a four is in a game of power grid what that would look like and i think that really helped the game that we played you know get us all on the same page because even though the game has a common set of rules it doesn't have a common set of culture depending on how people want to play it so that's really checking. Cool. Uh, so now let's move on to ri the rival networks. Now this is a two-player version of my game, the networks. Um, and the idea is um, we're both going to try to get the most viewers, just like in the regular networks game. So once you go ahead and join this, uh, I'm going. I'll go ahead and start it. Excellent. There you are. Yes. Shall we? Yes, it's uh, loading right now, at least on my yeah, screen. That's so exciting, so exciting. Awesome. Uh, so the Rival Networks, uh, I've been working on for the past couple of years. Um, it's, I think it's a really nice way to play the game two player. It's a standalone, so you don't need the networks to play it. You don't need to have played the networks to play this. Uh, so it's, I've played it's, the networks, but yes. that was how many years ago? <laughs> It was probably a while ago. Okay, like 15? So, <laughs> not that long. No, so uh, well, we're, I'll, I'll be the blue player, and you'll be the yellow player, and I'm just going to switch these cards. Okay, I'm still show. loading. I'm still okay. loading. Yep. I'm only half there, so let me no give worries. me a moment. I yep. meant that because we were, because I, I played it before, of course, you made, you published it. Yep. 
Yeah, yeah, you probably, and you, you tested the expansion, the executives. Yes, I think I even played it before it was a network game. Possibly, that's entirely yes. possible. You yeah. know, back when it was, uh, I was uh, uh, working around. If you haven't loaded yet, uh, I'm my, ferret, my ferret Trillion has just stopped by to say oh. hello. So here's oh. Trillion, say hello to the stream. Hey. There, there she is. And is this one of the ferrets that, that Formal Ferret is named after? No, no, no. I've had lots of ferrets uh, in the past. So I just, uh, for, for me, the ferrets are just, you know, it's, it's just generic ferret. But uh, Trillian is one of my ferrets. She's my old lady. She's seven years old. Wow. Oh, is that old for a ferret? It's hmm. pretty old. It's pretty up there, yeah. So oh. anyway, um, so I, are, are, I think you're in now, Mary? Are you in? I am, I am. Okay, excellent. So uh, let, yep. let's go ahead and get started because we only have 40 minutes and I don't know if we're going to get through all three rounds, but let's see. Uh, so um, we're trying to get the most viewers. The viewers are in this bag over here. So this is one viewer and this is three viewers over here. Uh, and when you score viewers, you put them uh, inside your little house over here. Um, and once you put them in here, they'll be hidden uh, from all other players, including the chat. So the object of the game is to get the most viewers. Um, the game will run three seasons. We may not be able to run all three seasons, so let's see how it goes. Um, so on your turn, you're going to do three things, and you've got a little cheat sheet next to your house that tells you what you do on your turn. So um, the first thing you do on your turn is you take one of these three shows. And I'm the first player. I'm going to move forward and grab this show over here, Blue Detective. Um, now, you see there's three time slots. There's one with a sun, that's this one right over here. There's one with a setting sun, that's over here. And there's one with a moon, that's over here. So I'm, gonna t I'm going to cancel this show that's in my sun time slot here, uh, replace it with this one over here. Um, and, uh, Sorry, that's I'm going touching your card. <laughs> and that's going to get me three viewers. And I mark that uh, by going to, uh, on, on this track, I'm going to go up three viewers, three ratings points on this track. I'm sorry, I said viewers, I meant ratings points. So this is going to get me three ratings points. I'm going to go up one, two, three. And you'll notice that I will, um, I pass this viewer symbol over here between two and three. Uh, that means I get one viewer. And that's going to go in uh, behind my screen over here. Uh, actually, I can put it over here for now and, and put it uh, behind my screen at the end of my turn. So great, I've got one viewer, and I got my show, and I'm all set. If I put this show in the wrong time slot, if I didn't match these symbols, I would get one ratings point instead of three. So far, so good? Uh -huh. Okay, uh -huh. cool. So uh, next thing is I will get a star and an ad. And you always get stars and ads from the same row. So I can get this star in this ad, or I can get this star in this ad, or I can get this star in this ad, or I can get the top cards from the star and add decks, okay? So um, I'm gonna go ahead and grab that star and that add, and all those go in my green room. Okay, that's my step two. My step three is I'm gonna put at least one star on one show as long as the icons match. So I'm gonna take my ubiquitous character actor um, and action, action. So you see these shows have the, the star and the show match an icon. So I'm going to get two more ratings points from the star. It brings me up to five. And hey, look, that's another viewer. Okay. Uh -huh. And I could uh, add my um, local tricycling, tricycling champion as well. Uh, but that would only get me one more ratings point, which wouldn't be enough to put me over the threshold. Uh, your starting stars, you'll notice, can go on any show. Um, I'll mention what ads do later. You don't need to worry about them for now. But um, that's the end of my turn. I'll hide my points. We'll draw a new uh, show, and we'll draw a new star and an ad, and it is your turn, Mary. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> All right, let me just check this one out. Alive, as far as we're concerned, is my card here. I'm yep. looking at the different cards that are available. Let's see. Gosh, that's, that's pretty. That's, it, looks, it looks pretty good, actually. Yep. It looks kind of like a nice zombie, uh, yep. a zombie apocalypse type of theme. But then... Yep. Um, I'm kind of digging this burp show because it yep. seems like if I slot that at night, I'm going to have a lot of fun with that. Mm -hmm. So that's what I would like to do. I think I would go and put it over here, right? I have to rotate uh, this. All. Yep, you cancel your existing show from your nighttime yes. slot and yes. it'll go in your reruns over here. 
I think it's over here. Rerun. No, reruns. Okay. Uh, right over here. Yep, where it says reruns. Like right over I'm here. Look, I'm just. My, I think your hand is hidden by my um, control. Oh, okay. Yep, yep, <laughs> Hold on. Right oh yeah. There so we this go. Is, yeah. Yep, that's your reruns area. So all your reruns are going to stack down here. So that's and that's reruns at the emergency broadcast hour. Yes. So now you're going to put Everybody the show that you one. got. So now you're going to take the show that you got and put it in the in the slot over here. Let's drop it in there. Excellent. Yeah. Okay, and that's going to get you four ratings points. So go ahead and move your marker up four ratings points. I have to get figure out where I am here in that particular session. Over there. Yep. So you're yeah. going to go up to okay, four? So. Yes, great. Okay, and that gets you one viewer because you passed one viewer icon. Super, got it. I'm going. I'm getting a viewer. Give me one. Is this a one? Yep, the, the whites are yeah. one, yep. Great. Okay, great. so now you're going to get a star and an ad. Oh, yeah. Um, gosh, gosh, there's so many things to choose from that are not, yeah. you know. Wow. Mm. Huh. Well, it's just not a reality show. So there's a reality star over here that can get you a couple I more. I was thinking the celebrity points. chef, no? Yep, yep, yep. That's the one that's a, okay. it's yeah. got a reality symbol on him. And it's very on brand to be uh, advertising soda on the burp, maybe. Yep. <laughs> Super on brand. <laughs> now, I put that on here, right? Yep, yep. And you can use the Q or E. You can use the Q or E keys to uh, rotate. There you go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. And Great. you're also you're also going to take the ad that was attached that that was uh, attached to it, and you're going to put the ad in your green room. I think I take this token and put it in my little yes. house, right? Yes. Okay. So you'll take the ad, and then and I take the ad. Yep. Um, yes, I put it in my green room. Okay, coming, yep. coming. <laughs> Just have to move around. Okay. Yeah. Um, green room was wait over here. Yeah, yep, right over here. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, cool. Uh, and now, since you attach that star to your show, you're going to get two extra ratings points. So you're going to go wow. up from four to six. We love that. Yeah. That's all I care about are ratings. Not really. I, I'm, not, I'm not a very good... Um... <laughs> TV executive. <laughs> so that, that's going to get you one more viewer. I saw that. I saw that. I'll go get it. Yep. <laughs> from, the, from the pile. Yep. From the bag. Yep. Oopsie. Coming. And there, there we go. go. Excellent. All right. And that's your turn. That so, was fun. Uh, Woohoo. Let's replenish. So, yep. So that's the basics of the game right there. Uh, let me explain what these ads are doing over here. Uh, these ads are going to get us money uh, through which we can buy these network cards, which give us special powers. Okay. So, uh, for example, I have this ad uh, for Brunhilde's Brilliant Brooms. And this ad is going to give me $2 million unless I have two ads with this two-card symbol here. If I cash both those cards in at the same time, uh, those two cards combined would be worth $5 million. Um, then over here, uh, the ad that Mary got for Diet Sugar Cola is worth $2 million unless you're leading at that first time slot with the sun, in which case the ad is worth $3 million. And right now I'm leading in that because I have more ratings points. Um, uh -huh. now the, ad, the ads are going to get you network cards. You notice the network cards all have a cost in the upper right. Uh, so you spend the ads, so you just discard them, and um, you take the ad, and if you overspend, you don't get change. Uh, and then you can discard, the, you can, sorry, you can flip the network card over to, um, to, uh, to get the power of the card, and it's a one-time use, Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm oh, going to... Yes. Uh, <laughs> we'll catch I'm, up. I'll catch up. <laughs> I'm going to cancel my late show, What's in My Pockets. I'll put on Jessica Bones. I'll take that star. And that's going to get me up to five ratings points, which gets me two viewers. Um, nice, nice that you grab two at the same time. That's like, it's like tabletopia magic. <laughs> I've I've used Tabletopia a lot lately. If you have a mouse with a scroll wheel, you can scroll on top of the bag or a deck, and you can grab multiple stuff that mm -hmm. way. Pants, pants. Okay, and that's the end of my turn. Now, you'll notice that there's this season finale card at the top of the deck here. What that means is um, this could be your last turn of the, of, of the season, Mary, and we play three seasons. Um, 
the season finale card will come out, and if I take it instead of a show, I trigger the end of the season. I still get a full turn. I still get stars and ads and whatnot, but I just yeah. don't get a show. And after my turn, the season ends. So, yeah. At, yeah. So at the end of the season, incidentally, we get a bonus. What, whichever player's leading in more time slots gets a bonus, gets bonus viewers. And we also have these goals at the side that give you extra viewers uh, if you meet certain conditions. I want to just take a moment and see if Chad is asking any questions along the way as well, um, just to see uh, if... Uh, I'm keeping an eye. I'll let you know if we got any questions in chat. Yep. Okay, thank you. But anyone who has any questions, go ahead and jump in chat. Um, this is a intricate and, and exciting game, so I'm sure there'll be plenty of questions. Yes. Okay, so... Um, so I am going to do this zombie apocalypse in the yeah. morning because it's kind of interesting. Yep. <laughs> I mean, who doesn't want to wake up with zombies? So I'm going to move my current, oh, not, not that one. I'm going to move my existing show over here. I'm going to go and get my zombie apocalypse new Just program. Keep in mind, because... This is, this is uh, a different time slot. You'll see this is Isn't a, that the morning? Sun. Nope, that's a setting sun. You see it's a setting sun over here? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, dang. Yep, yep. No worries. You can just cancel that show instead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yep. That. And just move it over to the middle time slot. Yeah. There we go. There you go. And now you're good. I'll draw. Um, and now, um, and then I'm going to go and deal with some advertising. Yep. Gosh, you know, intense from, uh, uh, and actors. Actors, chocolate bars. Oh, I like some of these. Um, yeah, so maybe um, the thumb station and this that kid from the commercial. That's pretty good. Oh, pla toothpaste. Everybody loves uh, toothpaste. And do I want this more? I'm okay. I'll do the morning show host. Why not? It's just what yeah. we can do here. Um, move that over. Put my ad in. Um, my ad goes right here with yep. that. Oopsie. Q. And then. Right, and then I have to deal with what that's what that's doing to my viewage. Yes. What is it doing? So let's count up. I'm having trouble getting them on the same screen. Hold on, I'm widening. Okay. Um. So we've got two. So how many do we have? Let's count. So, uh, you start with three uh, yep. radius points. I'm right there. Right. I'm on there. Yeah, three, but then I get a viewer. Yep. I'll get you a viewer I'm, over here. Do I have to get them in this way, or can I just get all the viewers all at once? You can get them all at once. It's just easier to keep track this way. Okay. 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 Um, and then... It's a uh, lot of going. Yep. And then you're going to attach as many stars as you want to one show. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah. So... Yes. Well, you know, um, in a zombie apocalypse, a morning TV show host... Um, could do some damage. Okay, that's going to get you two more ratings points, which gets you another okay. viewer. Which means I have to go find some viewing. Hi. Okay. All right. And if you want, okay. you can attach this star as well, which will get you two more ratings points. Oh, I'd love to because nothing works better than a, a child zombie. Yes. Or a former child zombie, and that's going to get you to seven ratings points, which is another viewer. Okay, it's, a, it's a career that zombified. All right, that's excellent. The, you know, Macaulay Culkin comes to mind strangely. <laughs> All right, so uh, you currently ha you are currently leading in this time in this time slot. Uh, so your plaque blaster ad is going to get you three million dollars, uh, <laughs> and your ad for diet sugar cola will get you two million dollars. So you have $5 million. Unfortunately, that's not quite enough to get any of the network cards out there, but you're starting to get close. Um, so now it's over. It's back to me. Uh, the season finale card is out. Um, I, could dun, dun, good, dun. I could nab the good mace, um, but that won't actually help me that much. So I'm going to go ahead and end the season now. Okay, so I'm going to take the season finale, finale card, but I'm still going to get a turn. So okay. what I'm going to do is, I'm, oh, this is perfect. I'm going to grab the, um, the uh, uncannily talented hacker, 
and the ad that's next to her. I will put that hacker on here and um, uh, and grab the snag this time slot for me at the last second. That gets me one viewer. Uh, and that is, is that it? I've got five million. Oh, I've got nine million dollars because I've got five million for my uh, two ads oh, over nice. here. And this ad gets me four million. So that's nine million dollars. I could get one of these shows. Yes, I'm going to grab this network card here, spin off. So when I cancel a show, like let's say I cancel the science fiction show over here, I would normally have to discard the stars on it. Ah. I can spin off to keep the stars. So uh, that means, unfortunately, I do have to spend these ads. So I'll just make a little discard pile over here. Come on, discard Great. pile. Got to find the pixel. Okay, I'll do that later. Um, okay, and that is the end of the season. So we're going to look at who is leading in more time slots. Um, you are. I am. So I'm going <laughs> to grab two viewers, one viewer for every time slot I'm leading in. But Mary, since you are behind in time slots, you're going to get one random star from the top of the deck. So Great. go ahead. I, want, I would love a, a star. Yep. Allow me. Yes. Okay, cool. So uh, now the next thing is we're going to go through these, um, these goals. Uh, the first goal is to win the 9 p.m. time slot. You won the 9 p.m. time slot, Mary. So you're going to get a yeah. viewer. I'll toss you a viewer. Here we go. Okay, thank you. I'll thank put you. Put that behind here. Yeah. Uh, number two okay. is have exactly one drama show in your lineup. Neither of us have that. I have zero and you have two. And the third is to win zero time slots, and neither of us have that. Okay. Uh, so that's it for the goals for the first season. We're going to discard these network cards. When you, when you say win zero time slots, it means no one has, it's a tie, basically, in one of the time slots. Like uh, one player has either lost or is tied on all three time right. slots. Okay. I'll create some discard piles over here. And now we'll draw new cards here for season two. Here are our new shows. And since I ended the season, uh, you will go first, Mary. Okay. So I am seriously Poncho Academy. Gosh, I don't even know what to think about that. <laughs> um, precious puberty. Okay, that is. A, I'm. I've got stuff going on at night. I. I really have an issue with my uh, morning situation here. I. I'm not happy with morning. I'm not a morning person. My cards are not morning people. So, I feel like this kind of military show is going to be my future. So that is what I would like to place in place of the get to know your colon show, yep. which has been kind of hanging out here ah um, wilbur yes the wilbur so i've done that now i'm going to go over to my stars and let's just see what's happening okay um hmm. i kind of like this combo of the influential party thrower being a part of um yep being the part, part of the wilbur the party thrower wants to be on a sports show. Uh, which uh, yes, 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 yes. But what, you know, what kind of show? this is space. Oh, I, this yep. guy could go to space. Yep. This is better in space. Yeah. Thank you. Go over there. And then I have to take the corresponding ad. Yeah. Yep. And that goes which in your is, time. Oh, yeah. I'm room. sorry. I'm putting them over here. No worries. Them over here. And that is going to get you. Oh, yep. And I assume you want to put the charity star on, on the show, though. I like, did want to go on the show. Yeah. Yep. So that's going to get you up to seven now because all the shows are uh, worth more in season two. Nice. So that's going to get you three viewers. I'll get you that right over here. Oh, cool. Uh, and um, yeah, uh, that's all you can do, I think, as far as that's concerned. But I think, yeah, you can now uh, get a network card because I can because I'm, I now have four, enough ads. Four, seven. Uh, you now have $10 million. Oh my goodness. I always wanted $10 million. Let's see. Draw up, just discard up to three ads and draw that number of random stars plus one. That's interesting. I am for interesting. <laughs> Turn, you may place your stars as many as you want on shows. 
I can't, I'm, I'm not really at a place where I feel like these are effective for me yet, but mm -hmm. um, one, square one viewer for every time slot you lead in. Uh, I don't trust my <laughs> playing against the makers playing this particular mm -hmm. round in order to, so I, I don't know, placing, I only have one star, so what would I do with that? And I have three ads. I guess the question is, is it better? This is a strategy question, which I don't know since I haven't played this game. Is it better to really manipulate your cards, uh, your network cards, or is it better to really just do your kind of point grinding up with your star system? Interesting. Yep. The I, answer I, is yes. Yes. <laughs> of course it is. I, um, where does I it do go? They feed to each other. Where would this go here? Yeah, it just goes right about there. That's a fine place for it. Yeah, okay, okay. Okay, so that means I have spent my ads, right? Uh, yeah, uh, you, that was a $4 million uh, card. So you could just spend this ad over here. Uh, and I could discard this for you if you want, because discarding oh, sure. should be in Tabletopia. Uh, okay, and then you still have these two ads to play with. So you can use this one now and discard your ads and... Um, get up to three stars, depending on how many ads you want to discard, or you can hang on to it because these ads are still pretty uh, powerful for you. Um, yeah. And uh, maybe use that later in the game. Okay, I'll do that. I'll hang on. Cool. Okay. So now it's back to me. Uh, let's redraw. Oh, and we'll draw a new network card as well. Awesome. Okay. So, uh, um, so you took the uh, card I wanted, you took the show I wanted, because that would have been my third sci-fi show. Um, and if you ever get to ah. three shows of the same genre um, across your whole network, including your reruns, you get a bonus. Um, so I wanted that sci-fi bonus, but sadly... I am so sorry. To be. Oh, you're not sorry at all. <laughs> so um, I'm going to uh, instead get Battle Tots over here, and that's going to be my... Um, 9 p.m. Who, show. Who doesn't, who doesn't love them? The art, art on the cards is ridiculous, and I love it. Oh, it's so good. Uh, Travis Kitschy, the same artist for the networks, uh, did the art for this, and he's amazing. Uh, okay, so that's a total of 10. Uh, um, you notice I'm putting both of my stars on this. You can attach as many stars as you want uh, for, to one show, a single show. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, put both stars on here. That's going to get me to 10 ratings points, which mm. is four viewers. That's nice and juicy. Um, that is very good. And I can't afford any ads, so I am done. Okay. Okay. So right now, everybody's, my shows are performing. Precious Puberty does call. Um, where is the genre on the marked? Is it just uh, on the, the happy face in the corner? That little happy yep, yep. face or the star? Yep. Yeah, action. Okay. And the colors as well. Uh, right now, uh, actually, these are your shows as well. If you get the drama, that would be your third drama. So you would get a genre bonus for that. What you get well, in a genre bonus, if you flip over your cheat sheet, that shows you all the genre bonuses in the game. Oh, yeah, nice. Okay, so if I do that, a random side of the two. Add a mega star to your green room. Oh, I want a mega star. Okay, so I think I will go with the mediocre Mr. Model, mm -hmm. um, which is a nighttime show. So it means I'm replacing my nighttime show, right? Yep, yep. So how it works? Yep, so here's how it's going to work. Uh, the, star the, star. Gets, the star gets discarded. Uh, the ad goes out here, and you're going to go back down to zero radius points. Uh, and then back up, uh, since you have the right time slot, you'll go back up to five. Yeah. So that's going to score you two viewers again. And now you yep. can attack. Now you can do your stars thing. So you can grab a star from here. If you don't like any of the stars here, you can always draw from the top of the deck. Yeah, there, none of them are working in my genre, as you may have observed. Yep. yep. So if I do this. Yep. And I don't have the genre. All right, but well, grab, I do grab have an ad also. But grab an ad also. And your yeah. your genre bonus is you're going to get a megastar. So here's a megastar for you. Uh, a megastar um, can uh, is three ratings points to any show. 
So you can put the Megastar on it if you want. Oh, I really like the idea that I have a cat Megastar too. Yes. In, um, you know, that's pretty good. I'm going to put the Megastar on since my other star doesn't match. Yep. And that's going to tie us over here, and it's going to get you one more viewer. I'm actually going to uh, take these two away and give you a three. Okay, you great. Want. Hey, and I have a question. Can I, um, can I, uh, can I uh, use my card here, my actual, what do you call it, network card? Yeah, any time on your turn. Okay, any time on my turn. All right. I don't know if I need to do that yet. I don't think so, but let's just see. And All can right. I add more stars to a show? You can uh, attach as many stars as you want to one show per turn. So right now, okay. if you had stars that went on drama, you could dump multiple stars on the, on the show that you just attached to. Okay, but I don't think any of these are really drama. Okay. Yep. Would you like a network right. card? You can get another um, megastar if you want. Because there's a network oh, yeah. card here that gives you a megastar. Yes, yes. And uh, I'll just discard these ads over here that give you yeah. a bunch of that give you the six million. Uh, so you could spend that now, or you can wait on it. Oh, I would love a megastar right now. Right now, here we go. Have a megastar. <laughs> I don't know where you put uh, that. So th instead of discarding it, we're just going to rotate it. Okay, um, yeah, sure. Because we have this goal at the end of the season to have a higher total value of acquired network cards, uh, which is a race you are currently leading, uh, ten to eight. So do you um, want to put this yeah. the diva? The diva. Yep. Yep. You could put the diva on your 10 p.m. Uh, on this show over here, or you can wait and put the diva on a different show later on. Well, I don't really seem to have a reality show. So let me, I mean, is that what the diva likes? No, the diva just doesn't care. The diva's a wild card. goes on anything, yes. That's a megastar. Okay, I'm just putting the diva on this mediocre Excellent. show. <laughs> that is, and it's no longer a mediocre show. It's actually the best show in the game right now. And it's going to get you one more viewer. Woo! All right, okay, that was really you. nicely done. Okay. So we got a new card, and notice season finale is up again. Oh, oh no! This, all right. Um, so I could grab the um, reality show to sort of take it away from you, but I'm not going to do that. Instead, I'm going to cancel. Yeah, I'm going to cancel. Oh, the sports show. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to actually put this show in the wrong time slot. I'm going to cancel oh. this show. And I'm going to nab that ad and that star. And that's only going to get me five viewers. So I go to zero and back up to five because it's three and two. I'm not using the big number. I'm using the small number, uh, which gets me two viewers. There we go. Okay. Um, and in terms of network cards, I have $5 million, so I could get viral marketing, which actually might be useful considering it's close to the end of the season. Um, yeah, let me go ahead and do that. Oh, 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 hang on. I didn't want to do that. Here we go. $5 million. I'll grab um, viral marketing. All right, and I'm done. So the season finale card is out. And oh, got to replace these also. Yes, I see it. So would you like to end the season or would you I, like to get a reality genre bonus? I would like my reality genre bonus. And it happens to be the only, now you're ahead of me in two categories, two time uh, slots. But. No, no, you're leading, at, you're leading at eight and you're leading at 10. I'm leading what at about, nine. What about this? So this, so there's I'm three time slots. Space. There's yeah. uh, uh, so you're leading in this time slot. I'm leading in this time slot. You're leading in this time yes. slot. You're leading That's in two right. out of three right. time slots. I really do like doing that, <laughs> but I will take this um, amazing vase show. I believe this is the reality TV one, right? This one. It's a great, great show title. Uh, we have a question. I love from, that. Um, uh, Legends DM asks, uh, is this game out already? What's the status of uh, the it is? Course? It is on pre-order right now. Uh, we're finishing up uh, the graphic design on the rulebook. 
It's going to go to the printer really soon, and we're hoping to deliver uh, to Kickstarter backers and pre-order customers at latest by December, because we don't know how you know wildly disrupted uh, supply chains are going to be. Yes, we do not. May I? Um, so I, I switched this out. I put this yep. show on. Yep. I'm going to use this reality show base collector because, yep. you know. Vote collector, yep. Yep. Oh, I, oh. Vo oh vote. Okay, base yep. vote. <laughs> okay. Yep. This is him. So that is kind of great. Can I put this one on too? Absolutely, yes. You can put as many stars as you want on one show. Uh, so that great. is going to get you to 11 ratings points, which is yeah. four viewers. Very Yay. nice. Yay, thank you. Thank you. I think you're getting the hang of it. Yes, it's taken a while, but now I'm, I'm going. It's yeah. kind of painful for everybody to be watching this. No, like, not ah! at all. <laughs> and, and did you get a star in an ad, by the way, Mary? I didn't do that yet. I'm just seeing what other. I don't really have a category for these guys. You see, so I'm gonna always have to grab pick. from the top. Yep, always grab from yep. the top. Yes, that's right. That's what's gonna happen. Mm -hmm. And no, and grab an ad also. Yeah, I'm doing it. All right. So now it'll be back over to me. Uh, unless actually, no, you could actually get a network card because you have a yeah. million dollars. So you could get Cult Classic. You could get, uh, you can't get Sweet Sweet. That's a little expensive. Or you can get Ratings Dominance. And for every goal you failed to reach, one random star. Mm -hmm. I haven't really spent time on my goals here. Win the 10 p.m. time slot. Uh, I think I am. You are, yes. No. Okay, that's nice. Have more rating points. There's, there's action stars. I don't think that that's the case. I didn't look at your action stars. Have acquired total value, higher value of network cards. Since I seem, how many network cards do you have? I, oh, you I have, have eight. I have thirteen million dollars in network cards. Uh, oh yeah, and you, you have, have ten million. But if you get one more net, one of these network cards, you'll go back in the lead. Because it counts the ones that are uh, that are spent. Yes, I mean I might as well just get an extra viewer for every one I lead. I don't know why not. Yep. Do you want to use Let's that right it. now and get yourself yes. two viewers? All right. Yes. yes. Excellent. Let's do that. <laughs> I think that is a good move. Where are these little guys coming? I got gotcha. you. Here we go. I got gotcha. you. Oh, oh, thank you. No cool. worries. Okay, so back to me. You gonna um, end the season or what? I am gonna end the season because um, things aren't looking great for me right now. Um, I am going to let's see. Mm. I think the best thing I can do right now is um, grab this sure. star and I'm gonna put her on there. And that's gonna get me two more ratings points, which gets me one more viewer. Doesn't let me uh, threaten there, but at least I um, uh, at least I get a point out of that, um, and that's that. Okay, so you are leading okay. in two time slots, so you're going to get two viewers. Here are your Thank two you. Viewers. I love uh, viewers. Yes, viewers were good. 10 p.m. time slot. That's yours as well. You'll get a viewer yeah. from that. Um, more ratings points and action stars on your shows. That stars that could be on an action show. Um, I have three. You have far more because of your mega stars. I have a lot of. I you have, have a lot a of stars. Ton of mega stars, so you're good there. And you also took the um, network card thing at the last moment uh, because you got that last moment network card. So you're going to get a star and a random ad. I'm sorry, a. a, a Viewer and a random star. So draw a random star from the top of the deck. And because I lost the time slot race, I do get a star as compensation. Ah, uh, well, you know. All right. I got a game show host. I got a game show host. Yeah. <laughs> How fitting. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was actually that's actually a Kickstarter backer, and he actually is. Uh, really into game shows to the point that he works in the game show business. He's not a host, but he's, he's working on it. Yeah, yeah. He sounds All great. Right. Steaming into the final round. 
final season. See, it's, it's actually a pretty quick game once you get the hang of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because there aren't many shows left. The game ends, obviously, when the show deck is, is empty. And since I ended the season, Mary, you will go first. Okay, wow, Handmaid's Tale. That's, that's, that's yeah, making me laugh that, and also That terrifying. would be your fourth drama, which would also get you the genre bonus. Oh, well, I keep going up in my genre, so let, let's do oh, it. Let's... Mary, we got to do one more thing because we never oh. gave you your uh, genre bonus for, um, no, for we didn't. reality shows. But it's pretty straightforward, that genre bonus. It's just one ratings point across all time slots. In this case, it doesn't get you any viewers. But Fine. sometimes I, I've scored three viewers that way in some games. Okay, sorry. So I'm Shout not being super. I'm, I'm, I will admit to everyone watching that I'm not being super strategic about. I'm just trying to learn the cards. I'm not being super yep. strategic about trying to sabotage you in this zone number two, which I yep. probably should be. So if I do want to sabotage you in zone number two before I take this handmade tale, what would that take? So let's look at this category. Um, I have uh, this kind of uh, drama moment happening, right? So. Mm -hmm. Uh, drama happens, but it's during the daytime. Oh yeah, that that's the sunset. So we've got a different time. Although I could still do it if I go through the the, the double number five. It's replacing five for five, three. Actually, it still goes up if I use if I move these guys, right? Yeah. No, so you would lose the stars. I would lose the stars, even if they're yeah. the star. Yes, all the stars on the old show get discarded. Oh, oh, that was an unfortunate strategy. I should have, I should have piled on stars onto one show. Um, that's a good okay. strategy. A lot of people like that strategy. Yes, yes. Huh, huh. What? Do you, let's. I, what do you think, chat? <laughs> <laughs> huh. Well, What's the, the nighttime slot. This is a nice nighttime slot, but I like having the bonus. But the bonus is only one one point, right? Uh, the genre bonus is a megastar. Oh, I like megastars. So I'm losing a megastar, but getting a megastar. Yep. So I'm going to do it. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> so the megastar will go back into the home for megastars. Uh, that star, I'll take care of the star. because. Okay. And I'll give you the new megastar here. Thank you. Oh. QQ. Here we go. Okay. Where did it go? There it is. All right. So if I put a megastar on that show. Yep. That's going to get you right up to 10. Which and gets you I put viewers. this one. This. this uh, one now you're up to 12. Yeah. That's nice. Okay. That's pretty sweet, isn't it? Yes, it's good. <laughs> All right. So you are now. I do feel like your rival. Yeah. <laughs> So you have $8 million right now from your ads. Oh, did you take a star, by the way? Did you take a star in an ad? No, I, don't think I just did. took the mega star. Yeah, no, go I ahead and take a star. You've got to start ad every turn. Yeah, so I'm going to, I still can put the star on? Yeah, absolutely. So can I can do this? Absolutely. That's going to get you two more. more. It's going to get you another viewer. You know. That happens. Okay, All fine. Right. And then you can get a bunch, you can get network cards. Uh, we've got a star that lets you steal a star from my green room. Got a star that uh, gives you a, got a network card, I mean, that gives you a star for every time slot you're not leading in. And we've got one that lets you draw three random stars and keep two. Now am I leading in every one? You are leading in all three time slots. Huh. For now. Got three random stars, keep two, take no ads. That's kind of funny. Take no prisoners. Um, I kind of like stealing things from you. Okay. Eight million. Do I have eight million? Yes, you do. Yeah. I'm going to steal. Okay. Which, uh, which ads do you I, want to I prefer steal? to think lure them or recruit. <laughs> okay. So which star? Where? Uh, now, uh, they can be off of uh, which... You, oh, you, you only start, you can you, you can spend this now or you can hang on to it. Like if you spend it now, you'd be getting my science fiction legend. Um, if I spend this, I, I have to steal it from which? From my green room. So it's only oh, yeah, this star. That's the only star I'm in my green and, room. Right now. And it's a sci-fi person. Yes. Oh yeah, they're not that useful to me. Oh well, I didn't look at that very carefully. 
Um, I think, right? I don't, just having stars around at the end of the game doesn't help me, right? Uh, the player with more cards in the green room at the end of the game gets one viewer. Oh, that's not that much. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Let me think. Well, I'll, I'll hold, but I have a feeling we're kind of, uh, we're almost to the end, actually, aren't we? Yeah, we're pretty close I, to I, the end. So I better just, um, I better just use it just to, like, go out in a flame of, of not All right. <laughs> oh, no. uh, you're, you're, you're stealing, the, you're, you're doing the steal one, right? Is that, oh, yeah, this one, this one, this one. This yeah. One. Oh, oh, no, you're not discarding it. We're just going to tap it. I'll tap it, tap, tap it. And I do draw a new star to replace it, but I did like that star, and this star does not help me at all. So that was a good steal. Oh. Okay, so uh, that is... Oh, and you got it. You have to discard two of your ads to pay for that. Oh, yeah. So it does, I don't think it really matters. I don't, let's see. It probably matters somewhat. Um, yeah, small distinction. In the meantime, I will reset... Yeah, I'm, I'm just sticking stuff in the corner. Yep. I'll take care of it. Okay. Cool. All right. So uh, then we got a new network card to replace the one you took. And now it's back to me. And I am... Oh, this is interesting. If we have shows in all six genres, does that mean also in our discard or our whatever this is called over here? Yes. Uh, that's your whole, that's, that's everything. Collection. Uh, yeah. Yes, yes. All right, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take... Uh, I don't have any sports. So over Sorry. here, <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use my spinoff uh, to keep up to two stars from a canceled show, which means I'm going to go ahead and discard this star. Um, and I'm going to... Uh, sorry, I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna put the star back in my green room, but that star I'm gonna keep using spinoff, and that's gonna get me right back to no, that's gonna get me to eight ratings points, which is three viewers. Uh, and now getting, oh, do I go ahead and get? Yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and get that one. Sort of a tricky plan I have here, but hopefully it'll work out. Uh oh, there we go. Um, and so that spinoff that I used, not going to do viral marketing just yet. I am done. Uh, am I? No, I, uh, I have a genre bonus. Um, I get the top two ads. All right. Ooh. Um, and I'm going to use my viral marketing card. I don't want to stack these. Uh, I'm going to discard an ad. I'm discarding that ad. And I can add four ratings points to any show I want. Uh, you know what? I'm not going to do that yet. Still in season two, right? We're still in no, season two. No, this is season two. three. This is okay, season three. Okay, we are. Three. We are. Okay, great. Final season of the game. So, uh, no more rating. <laughs> oh, I have nine. I can, before I draw, I can, I've got how many genres? One, two, three, four genres. Um, and I'm not doing, oh, yes. Okay. I know what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to spend, um, 7 million in ads. So that's one, two, so I'm sorry, that's 5 million. And I'll spend this one to make 7 million in ads. I'm going to take documentary and I'm going to use it. I am behind in all three time slots. So I'm going to draw the top three stars. And those all go. Why in yeah. Why do you do the genre bonus? Uh, you do it the moment you get at least three shows of the same genre. And I got lucky. I got two sci-fi shows. So I'm going to get five extra ratings points. That's going to bring me to 13, which is one more wow. viewer. I needed that. Uh, maybe I will. Yeah, I am going to attach the star then and um, leap ahead of you in that time slot. That's going to get me one more viewer. Oh, I needed that. Okay, cool. I'm done. Uh, so Max, do we have uh, do we have to wrap up? Yeah, so we're schedule? we're now running a little bit low on time, so uh, we don't know. Yeah. Whether... 
there are two cards left. There are two. There's two left. So I'd estimate we have five to ten minutes left. Um, yeah, we that cuts into another thing. I think. Yeah. Another thing. So unfortunately, we're going to have to wrap up. But we got, a, I think, a good sense of the game. Um, oh, really good sense. Yeah. We yeah. The same two questions that we that we like to ask everyone at the end of the indie yep. creators uh, spotlights, which is, what cool indie games have you been playing recently that we should check out? Uh, what have I been playing lately? Uh, I haven't played a lot of, uh, so cool new games, you said, right? Oh, and any indie games that you've been playing that you like, to, that people should check out? Um, geez, I, I don't know what, what counts as indie and what doesn't. Um. Whatever you like. <laughs> I mean, I, 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 oh, I'll give you one. Fantastic Factories. Uh, it's on Tabletopia. Um, it was on Kickstarter, I think, last year or the year before, and it's just really, really solid, really nice economic game. Cool. So check out Fantastic yeah. Factories. And so, Fantastic uh, finally, Factories. tell us about uh, what you're working on. Anything specific you'd like to plug, and where can people find your work? I've got, you can find me at um, formalferretgames.com. You can find me on Twitter at Gilhova. Um, I have a game called High Rise that came out this month. Uh, it's getting, been getting really good reviews. Uh, and um, this game, The Rival Networks, is on pre-order right now. If you go to formalferretgames.com, you can get the link to the pre-order address. And, um, uh, and it's a standalone card. game. It's a standalone yes, game. standalone game. You don't need the networks or to have played the networks to play it. Uh, check-in cards uh, is on my website as well, and you can check that out there as well. A uh, nice way of getting a hold, uh, get, take the temperature of your game group before you start the game. That's pretty much that. Yeah, fantastic. And it seems like now's a great time to be playing the two-player ver the two -player version of... Uh, the yes, very much so. This, is, very this much was so. a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun, you. and it was a lot of... Um, and it was a lot of... Uh, like, it's really clearly laid out. The steps are really easy to figure out, and there's a lot of variations in gameplay that can happen because you, you have lots of room for different strategies. And Yes. Um, I know I missed a whole bunch of things. <laughs> there's um, a lot going on, yeah. Um, I knew no, and I know just from the layout, not like not um, not like seeing all the things. Like I think like this each season having it's like winning us time slot or this or that. There's lots of little things that um, are are really make the gameplay rich. I think so. It's yeah. very very cool and cool looking Thank too. So, Thank yeah. you. Yeah, Travis and Heiko did a great job on on it. Uh, somebody asked what High Rise is about really quickly. It's a strategy game of construction and corruption where you're building skyscrapers. We Mary and I think I've played that one too. It's 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 really fun. Uh, you. That, yeah, you said that's available also on order from your website now. Yeah, that's a, you can buy that from my website or a lot of game stores have it at this point. Fantastic. Oh great, great, oh, great. Thank you so Thanks much, Gilbert. So thank thank you so much for having me, everyone. Yay! Awesome. And good luck with your podcast too. Don't forget thank everyone, you. the Ludology podcast. Ludology, yes, and everybody stay tuned for Sharun. He's fantastic. Uh, he was on our most recent episode, and uh, can't wait to watch his stream as well. So come on. So in a second, we'll, we're going to switch over to a waiting coming soon screen. Then we'll be back with Sharun for our last segment of the Indie Creator Spotlight. Um, and then after that, you should go check him out on Ludology. All right. Thanks okay. so much for doing this, everyone. Thanks, Bye, everybody. Be right Bye. back. Bye.